I won't release a Prorogia right now. Instead, what I'll do? I will ally Novgorod to some rivals. Denmark, Hungary, Moscow. And now I will just wait. And here we go. That's what I've been waiting for. This event allows us to become junior partner of Poland. Of course, I'm not that stupid, I won't. I will just choose the second option. What I'll also do is I will send scornful insult to Poland. And now we can release some vessels. I will release everyone except Kyiv. Now I'll wait for one day and I will take one province from Polotsk. This land. This one. Tropetsk. What I'm also going to do is I'll grant this privilege, Schlachta Integration Policy. So now our vessels are unloyal, but that's not enough for me. I will also placate relatives on their own. And now finally I will release Zaporozhye. Why won't I release Kiev, you might ask? The answer is very simple. So Kiev will take all of these provinces. And that means that Zaporozhye will be locked. I won't be able to take any lands from Lithuania. And that's not good for me. Right now we are monarchy, which is quite boring, but this decision will let us to become Sichrada. Sichrada is very cool government. Basically, now we are Horde Republic. I won't hire free company. I will hire the usual infantry. Why? That's because I'll need to carpe siege. I'll need to take as many provinces as possible. Also, I'll grant some privileges. 100 crown land, by the way. Very cool. So I can go wild on privileges. Mana privileges. Clerical education. Clerical ministers. Boyars officer rights. Statesmen of the Boyars. Recruit Kazakh leaders. Kazakhs military leadership and legalize the Kazakhs raids. Okay, I think that should be enough. And what I'm going to do now? I'm going to improve relations with Moscovy, collect in Crimea and in Kiev. And now I'll wait for our truce to end. By the way, I think that's new government reform. I guess that's for Russian and Ruthenian republics. And it gives more republican tradition than this one. So of course I'll take it. And here we go, it's time to attack. So I'm going to ask to support the patents and I'll light Lithuania vessels. And now I will do this. I will mark all Lithuania provinces as vital to me, so no one tries to take them. I'm also going to use each rather interaction. This one, organize trading parties. And now I will declare. Declare war, independence. My plan has worked. Novgorod is intact and it's at war against Moscow, but I'm in charge. And that's very important. Now I'm going to try to siege these provinces and I'll try to run away from Lithuanians. Also, I will start building spy network on Livonia. Strangely enough, it worked. They are sieging provinces for me. Well, that's quite unfortunate. Of course, I won't be able to help. Minus Galachevolinia. It's going to Poland. Also, of course, I forgot to raise my stability. I don't really have many rebels, but still I'll do it. Novgorod is finally fully sieged and Moscow came to help. Okay, and now let's pass out. Demand independence. And I'll try to snake into Livonia and the Tony Gorder. Also, I'll give some provinces to Moscovy. I need to have more than 30 trust with them. Moscovy shouldn't break lines with me, at least right now. Polotsk will, but Moscow is more like a Chernigov who won't. At least I'm safe from Poland for now. Let's fabricate claim on Livonia. Moscovy took some part of Polotsk, of course not the best outcome, but could have been worse. Okay, I've got some provinces, and now what I want to do. I'll make some states, and I'll move my capital to Kiev. And also I need two stability. I think I'll focus on admin, I need a lot of admin here. I'd like to raise Kazakh host, free infantry is always good. And my plan right now is to either declare on Livonia or on Polosk first, we'll see. I also think I can break lines with Chernigov. Moscow doesn't want its provinces, at least for now. Okay, to stability, and now I should be able to complete this mission. Yes, I am. So, why did I move my capital? Because this mission gives you claims on region where your capital is located. And my previous capital was located in Pontic Steppe. Obviously, that's not the best region to get claims in. Well, I could declare on Crimea, of course, but, well, why would I do it? Instead, I think it would be better if I could declare on Chernigov or Polotsk or Smolensk or something like this. So, I will declare on Polotsk and let's go. That was quite easy. I will whistle at Rezan, take money, just have to wait for a little. Okay, here we go. And let's pass out Polotsk. Full annexation, money. And I also can declare on Livonia. Let's do it. Of course, Moscow broke our alliance. I knew that would happen. Right now, my number one priority is to find another ally, because, well, if I won't be able to, then Moscow will 100% declare on me, I'm sure. Okay, I can piss out, and the choice on how to piss out here is very difficult. Riga is extremely expensive, so if I take Riga, I won't be able to take whole Livonia. But on the other hand, Riga may enter HRE, and then I won't be able to take Riga at all. So I think what I'll do, I will take money from Riga, and I will vassalize it. Maybe let's also force religion. And I will fully annex Livonia, and of course take money. Of course there might be a coalition, but it shouldn't be that big. I doubt it will even form, to be honest. Okay, uh, let's start Livonia, and I hope Sweden will still ally me. Yes, they will, perfect. Uh, well, Sweden is a very good ally, at least I have some form of protection. Muscovy has warned me, of course they did. Well, right now I won't say that game is very lucky for me. 
can't say this at all, but we'll see, I'll try to do something. I will rival Muscovy, yes, if your heart is right. I guess that's the only choice, what can I do? Deal with Muscovy while it's still weak. By the way, I can also lay Denmark, just perfect, that will really help me. Now let's see, maybe I'll find some other allies. I need more allies, I need a lot of allies. Without allies, I'm feeling quite partitionable. Serbia, why not? Let's also start developing Renaissance. Local development cast, and let's go. And I also can lay Great Horde, just perfect. No, I mean it, it is perfect. That means I have chance to strangle Muscovy. Okay, let's break land with Serbia. I don't have diplomatic slots. I will also reduce Smolensk opinion of Muscovy. I will need it as my ally. I will also try to declare on Crimea. I need as many development as possible. Take Crimea and I should win. That was quite easy. I will out Crimea. Let's do it. Although coalition with Ottomans is not good coalition. I got some special troops. Maybe let's buy one more calorie. Why not? And I want to deal with Muscovy right now. Not later, but right now. I do have better military technology, I do, two more military technology and I'll ask Ward to support me. So I think we'll win, retake core and oh, let's go. And allow attach, maybe they will attach to my company. Atomas are at war, so I think it's safe to peace out right now. I'll take these provinces, money and of course collision might appear, but I doubt it will. Let's raise our new provinces, I love raising. The biggest problem here is that I can't move freely. There are tons of forts, and that means I can't go in straight line, I need to do it like this. And that makes things definitely more difficult. Although Muscovy doesn't have a chance here, just look. Difference in quality is staggering. Just look, I'm destroying Muscovy. Finally, one more diplomat. I've been waiting for this. Stack wiped Muscovy army. Although um, I do have small deficit in my budget, so I need to wrap it up quickly. Not to mention that Poland might declare. Coalition is no more. Well, at least something positive. It seems I even might to go for 100 war score. That's my original peace deal, but I may change it. First idea group. Well, obviously horde ideas. Plutocratic and horde ideas at the same time. It's possible. I do have a lot of military mana. First I would like to sell Chernigov. I want to connect my provinces to Rezan and some money. And I also want to break alliance with Russia. It seems I can't, unfortunate. It means war reparations. I won't trade these provinces because they are Ruthenian ones, they are ours. So as you can see, coalition might and will appear. And that's why I'm going to do a pro gamer move. 31st December, let's peace out. Ottomans right now are at war, everything should be fine, they won't join coalition. And now I will declare on Novgorod, so it can join the coalition too. Let's ask Sweden for help, ask to prepare for war, and let's declare on Novgorod. I will embrace renaissance, let's delete some forts here, they are useless, and let's raise a little. These are Russian provinces, these I can raise. These are not mine provinces. And yes, I wanted to take Moscow, but for some reason I couldn't, I don't know why. I already can peace out Lithuania, literally perfect. Now I will go for Novgorod, before Sweden has taken everything for itself. It wants whole Novgorod, I'm not joking, it wants whole Novgorod. Okay, let's peace out. Again, coalition might appear, but I hope it won't. I have truce with most of these countries. And time to raise Novgorod. Raising is very fun. And also I'll build fort on my capital, I need it for missions. Unfortunately, Sweden broke lands with us. I will start annexing the sun. I don't need it anymore. That's already quite not bad balance. Could have been worse. Finally, this event. Because I gave this privilege, it should give me some additional bonuses. Let's see. Yeah, I see. Some tackets and some military power. By the way, I just understood that I haven't built much cavalry. Let's change it. Let's build it at least 4 cavalry. I'll delete my Novgorod company, I think. And I have space for one more cavalry. Second at your group. Perfect. A second idea group, I think I'll choose maybe diplomatic? Maybe diplomatic, why not? And now I will finally break alliance with Smolensk. If, if, big if, Moscow declares on Smolensk, I will enforce peace. And I'll let's declare on Lithuania ASAP before it joined coalition. I will call in Great Horde and we will declare. And by the way, I find it quite funny that Zaporozhia has better interactions than Russia now, like it has the OG CLC, free units, not like Russian new ability. Okay, uh, let's start by Yimia. cannons are my best investment, and now I have to defend my country. And Razan is integrated. By the way, Novgorod was fully annexed by Muscovy. And here we go, to be honest, I'm not sure how I survived this. A lot could go wrong. So I already can peace out and I need to do it, because truth with Muscovy soon ends. And I'll take these provinces, maybe a little less money and war reparations. And now I should be able to complete one more mission, this one, finally. Claims on Moscow and claims on Novgorod. I already conquered Novgorod, so I'll get even more claims. Claims on these areas. I already have almost 100 cavalry to infantry. I can't use it right now because I'm extremely poor, as you can see. Very poor, so it would be a bad idea, but in future maybe. Sorry Moscovy, nothing personal. Smallest won't join the coalition, so no need to rush, but I'll remember. At last, Chernigov is mine. Finally, I've achieved pretty borders. 
How scary Atomans? I don't know why, but Atomans in this patch always, always become second rate power, and Mamluks almost always become the great power number one. I don't know why. But I'm not like I'm against it. I'll take these promises. This wants to isolate Muscovy from Sweden. I know Sweden will try to declare. Pull in reverse Novgorod here. And of course I'll take war reparations. And it's time to declare on Smolensk, ASAP. And also it's time to raise Russia. And finally I can complete this mission. Even more claims. If someone wonders, this mission tree was updated not in 1.35, but in 1.34 and 4 I think. To be honest I don't really like this update. It's clearly focused on Russian principalities not Ruthenian. To complete these missions, you need to basically conquer Muscovy. And that's a lot more difficult than conquering Ruthenia. Why does Austria hates me? We are not even bordering each other. Okay, let's sell Smolensk. Money, perfect. And now our borders are truly pretty. And I also would like to ally Theodora. You may ask, why would I ally it? That's the simple question. I want to vassalize it peacefully. By the way, I almost can ally Austria. Well, now that's interesting. Send insult to France, and I need more opinion. Together with Austria, we may actually beat Poland. Okay, let's ally Austria. Perfect. Well, I think I already can break alliance with Great Horde. Don't need it. And by the way, Bukhara has formed. For someone who doesn't know, Bukhara is Uzbek. Well, Uzbek can form it. Let's send some money to our future vessel. Offer military access. Transfer trade power. Almost, almost. Procuring guarantee. And here we go, I can visualize it. You might ask, why won't I just conquer it? That's because of Ottomans. They have warned me. And also, it's time to partition Poland. It's a war against Ottomans, I can go in Denmark, and then everything will be just perfect. I stack wiped half of Polish army. That's what cavalry does to you. Oh, okay, I think I can write peace out. I'll take these provinces. Well, I also wanted to take Podolia, but unfortunately, well, it's not possible. Ottomans occupied it. And also, I wanted to take Halic and Trowbridge. Well, it's possible to take Halic, but it will be not pretty. So let's just peace out. I would also develop colonialism. Let's develop it in Ulla, why not? Welp, time to declare. And by the way, Ottomans haven't taken Podolia. I thought they would. Well, okay then, I'll take it. Poor Poland is getting partitioned. Between Austria, me and Ottomans. Anyway, I've already done with Lithuania. I'll take these provinces, some money, should be enough. Finally I can become kingdom, and whole Ruthenia is mine. Well, almost. Sorry Karelia, nothing personal. That was easy. Time to pick up Muscovy once again. And Muscovy now is no more. Well, basically, Muscovy is turned into Perm. Truce with Poland has ended, and you know what it means. And by the way, forgot to race. Raising is important. There is no such thing as too much mana. Well, let's pass out. Don't beat much. Well, and now whole Ruthenia is united. Of course, Austria wants to break alliance with me. Of course. And now, what I'll do? I will save. And I will click this wonderful button. First, I want to check something. Yes, new ideas, and so let's see. They did fix it. Hooray! I'm sure almost no one knows about it, because, well, no one plays Aporogia. But before this update, if you formed Ruthenia, as Kazakh Republic, Tichrada, Ruthenia didn't get unique ideas, it got Kazakh ideas. They're different and they're worse. But well, here we go, Ruthenian ideas, as they did receive update. They are now definitely stronger, especially core creation cost reduction, it's very good. Also, Tichrada is saved, which is very cool, it doesn't go away. And I also wanted to show you the unique garment reform from Ruthenia, but unfortunately I can't, I'm not monarchy. Although, although okay, okay, so I'll just back up my safe. And I will raise my stability. I have to do it. Let's raise our stability and I can switch to monarchy through government reforms. And finally, a new government reform for Ruthenia. You might ask, what's the difference with Russia? I don't know, it's almost the same. Well, I don't see many powers here, maybe that's it. Well, anyway, hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.